everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my update for Partners in Cream. This has been going for like four years I think it is and um, it was created by Stephanie Dillon. Those beautiful ladies are going to be linked down below along with if there is a playlist which I never can remember if there is or not. That'll be down there below. All the details started on January 10th will go till December 10th. And I do not know yet if it is coming back again next year. I know that Steph and Dylan are both very busy ladies, so I don't know if they're going to be able to coordinate this next year or not. So we will just have to wait and see. And basically the idea of this project is to work on all of your non-powdered makeup products, anything with any kind of moisture content in it, like creams and gels and liquids, those kind of things that go bad or go off faster and that is what this whole project is about and I love it because um, I actually did not used to like liquid cream gel type products and this project has made me discover that I do actually like them which is kind of weird because I'm an oily girl as you can see I'm a little shiny but I don't know I have discovered that I really like cream products so I have a lot more now than I used to but I am constantly painting them in this project so let's get into this. I have two things rolling out, so I will be rolling two new things in. I've kind of decided I am just going to be rotating through some of my cream and liquid gel type products from here until the finale on December 10th. So that is what I have been doing. So I'm rolling two usage products out and two new usage products in. Plus I have two products that are continuing on. So Let's get into this. The first one is from Colfi. It is the Tiger Queen Kajal Kajal um, Eyeliner. I've barely used this. I think I've only used it once or twice since the last update and I cannot make a new line on my um, cap here, but this is how much is left. I am still hoping that I can have this done by the end of the year. I do not know if I can make that happen, but I'm gonna continue to work on it. So hopefully you can see my lines, all my progress lines here. We'll see if I can get this done. It is a beautiful shade, but there are other products that are in my 50-50 project that I have prioritized. So this one has not been getting as much love as it should. And then we have the Kaja Dewy Bar Cheek and Lip Multi Balm. That is a tongue twister. This is in Grapefruit Gelato. It is beautiful. And I've put it in here for 10 uses and I have used it three times so far and I like it but it is extremely dewy and while our nights are getting really cold like not quite to frost point yet but we are just above that during the day we are getting in like the high 60s sometimes lucky enough to even be in the low 70s so like I still my skin is still wanting to be oily and it's a struggle to use that when it is warm during the day that's usually when I'm wearing my makeup so I have not been using it as much as I could but I have a feeling here in the next week or so that it's going to get colder and I'm sad about that but I will be able to use some of these products a little bit easier so those are the two that are continuing on I do have two that are rolling out the first one is this pure lace blush glow BB cheek color in sweet rose I brought it in for 10 uses and she is rolling out I did enjoy this a whole lot but there was no way I was going to finish it like I originally thought at the beginning of the year which is why I switched it up to usage so she is just going to go right back into my collection to be used at a later date. And then this lip liner, what is it officially called? The Avon Line and Color Lip Pencil in Double Barrel Berry. I did enjoy using this. Again, this was in for 10 uses and it is just going to go back in my collection. At some point, I am going to put this in a project to finish, but little usage here or there will get me closer to being in a position where I can pan it in a year's time which is kind of the goal and um, yeah so that it's going to go back in my drawer and I am bringing in two new things to play with one of them is going to be another lip liner this one is extremely neutral it is the buxom plump line lip liner in the shade hush hush and it is so very neutral looks like that and I'm only going to bring this in for five uses because we are nearing the end of the year. We are in the last quarter and I do want to try and get that rotated out by the next update. So I have another month where I can play with something else for a month and 
you know. It just is my way to rot rotate things through the end of the year and um, complement what I am working on in other projects that I'm attempting to finish. So that is my goal. And then the other thing that I'm bringing in is from City Color. It is the Moose Eyeshadow in White Gold. This thing is beautiful. You can't really see a whole lot from the packaging. So I'm going to go ahead and pry this open and look at that. Can you even see the shift of white gold on that? I'm going to put some on my hand and hopefully you'll be able to see it there because it is extremely, extremely pretty. Of course, I barely put any on my finger. It doesn't take a whole lot, but there it is right there. Hopefully you can see it. It is something that I like to use on my inner corners. I like to use it on my lids. It works with a lot of different stuff. And as you can see on my lids, I do like gold. So it'll be fun to play with that one just for five uses. Like I said, with the other things, I just want to be able to play for the next couple of months. So if I bring this in just for five uses, I can probably have those done by the next update and then be able to roll something else in next month to play for my last month. So that is everything for this update. Two rollouts, two roll-ins, and two carryover products. I feel like um, this was kind of a slow start in the beginning of the year, but I was not realistic with my goals. And once I did switch my goals to more usage base as opposed to finish, I feel like um, things started to pick up. The only thing into finish right now is going to be this liner, and I am still hopeful that I can have it done by the finale. So definitely go check out Steph and Dylan. Like I said, they're going to be listed down below. If there's a playlist or anything like that, it'll be down there as well. And um, as soon as I know whether or not this is coming back, I will let you know. Who knows if I'll know by the finale. We'll have to wait and see. All right, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.